You know, sometimes it just happens. A family celebration kind of pops up and catches you by surprise. And you're in charge of bringing a sweet treat. And maybe it's just a little nibble, but you have to feed quite a few people. So what are you going to make? I'm gonna let you know. You are going to make my creamy lemon squares. Everybody will be talking about them. I love a good lemon square, and it starts with a shortbread crust. So I have a cup of all-purpose flour in my bowl, and I'm going to add to that a quarter cup of granulated sugar. She does. And I'll just stir it in with my fingers. Then she flicks them clean. I have a half a cup of cold butter. I just pulled it from the fridge, and I'm just gonna toss it in the flour. She coats all its sides. So it's easier to hold on to as I use a box grater to grate it right into my flour. Just like cheese. This makes it super quick to work the butter into the flour, creating this shortbread crust. Then a new tool. I've got a pastry cutter to use here, but you could use two knives just as easily and just work that butter in. Throughout the flour. And I don't bother adding any flavoring. That creamy tart lemon filling will do all the talking for me. My butter is just starting to soften up and I've got small pieces starting to form. So now it's time to stop mixing. I've got a nine inch square pan, greased and lined with parchment paper so that the paper comes up the side. That makes it easy to pop out the whole pan of squares to cut them up. She tosses in the flour mixture. And then very gently, you don't have to press too, too hard. With her fingertips and knuckles. Press this into the pan. And I find the key too is also just to press it slightly up the sides a little bit. With the side of a finger. That too will help prevent the filling from leaking underneath. I'll just pop this in my 350 oven and you give it 15 to 18 minutes to cook. It'll just start browning around the outside edges. She pops it in the oven and later. All right, here is my crust. And you can see that it is closely nestled right up to the side of the pan. That lemon filling on top will not go anywhere. Lemon squares aren't complicated to make, but it's the little things like that that do make a difference. Now, another tip for this great recipe for lemon squares is to give that lemon filling a little substance so it does stay on top of the crust. So my secret is to use half a package of cream cheese. She tosses that into a bowl. I've measured out one and a half cups of sugar. Now she adds that. You need that sugar to play against the tartness of the lemon juice. I'm only gonna add about half a cup to start. Using a spatula, she mixes the sugar and cream cheese. And now I'll add some more. She adds another half of the remaining sugar. Along with my zest of one lemon. She grates the peel of a lemon in. Now the tartness in this lemon square recipe comes from the lemon juice. The real intense lemon flavor comes from the quantity of lemon zest. That's why I like to put in the zest of a full lemon. She taps the last of the zest off the grater, then blends it all together some more with her spatula. You can really see how that cream cheese is softening up. I do have a quarter cup of flour here that goes into the filling. Again, that lends set and structure. And for a little lift, half a teaspoon of baking powder. I've got half a cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice. In a lemon dessert like this, fresh really makes a difference as opposed to bottled lemon juice. She mixes. Now you're probably looking at this bowl. With a whisk now. And you just saw how much lemon juice I added and you think, well, that doesn't look very lemony at all. Well, the lemon color comes from the eggs. I have four eggs here. Shelled and in a bowl. Add the first one on its own to get it blending. Then I can add the rest all at once. And that's it. This is ready to pour into my pan. She pours it on top of the crust. And that's got such a lovely lemon color, but you get the hint of the creaminess in there from the cream cheese. Now I keep my oven at 350 and the squares take about 35 to 40 minutes to bake. When you see about two inches still jiggly in the center, that's when you know it's time to pull them out she pops them to in. cool on the mm. counter. And later. And there are the lemon squares. She lifts them out. Wonderfully set. And I cut them up while I leave the paper on. I don't try and peel it away. She grabs a knife. Once you've cut up your squares into portions, they're best stored in an airtight container in the fridge and they'll keep for a good four to five days. The squares are bite-sized. Until everyone knows that they're in the fridge. Now she plates them. What I think makes a lemon square such a crowd pleaser is the fact that it 
packs such big lemon flavor in such a small little bite. The tartness of the lemon, the creaminess of the cream cheese, and of course the sweetness, all on a shortbread crust. I know you will be a hit when you make these for your next family celebration. She raises one up. Cheers. Takes a bite, chews, nods, and shimmies mm -hmm. happily. Mm -hmm.